quite a common skin problem. Athlete's foot affects mostly people. This skin problem can be found in the area between the toes, soles of the feet, and toenails. Athlete's foot is caused by a fungus called tinea pedis, living off the dead skin cells and thriving in moist, warm places such as gyms, locker rooms, showers, and swimming pools. If you come in contact with wet floors or touch infected socks and shoes, you can contract this disease. And by the way, if you want to know which are the most powerful remedies growing in your state, I highly recommend checking out the first link in the description below this video. The symptoms of athlete's foot are burning sensation between affected areas, itching, redness, scaling, and blistering. How to prevent athlete's foot? To combat athlete's foot, keep your feet dry at all times. After drying your feet, remove any loose skin to allow penetration of medication to the infected area. Next, use medicated powder or baking soda in your shoes and socks to keep your feet dry. It will soak up some of the perspiration and help neutralize the skin. Next, wear cotton or absorbent socks and wash them in hot water with bleach. Next, give your shoes lots of space to breathe and ample time to dry before wearing them again. Next, wipe the inside of the shoes with white vinegar or spray with a disinfectant. Next, use antiperspirants to keep down the sweating. And finally, dry your feet thoroughly with a towel or hair dryer. And here are natural home remedies for athlete's foot. First, add 40 drops of tea tree oil to a small quantity of water or olive oil and soak your feet in it for 10 minutes. Towel dry your feet and blow dry to ensure no presence of any moisture. If you still find some areas are moist, put a few drops of tea tree oil on the affected area. Next, dab diluted alcohol on affected area and allow it to dry. The alcohol dissolves the water and it helps dry the skin and reduce the risk of attracting the fungus. Next, Soak your feet in a mixture of apple cider vinegar and water for 10 minutes daily until the symptoms disappear. Next, apple cider vinegar with its antifungal properties will relieve the itching, peeling, and kill the fungus. Instead of soaking your feet, you can also coat the fungus with a cotton ball dipped in apple cider vinegar. Next, Soak the feet in a solution of baking soda and water for about 30 minutes daily. Next, mix six tablespoons of dried chaparral to one quart of boiling cheap whiskey or wine. Reduce and simmer for 20 minutes. Remove and steep for eight hours. Soak your feet in this solution when cool. Next, boil four cups of water, add eight to 10 broken sticks of cinnamon. Reduce heat and simmer for five minutes. Then remove and steep for 45 minutes. Use as a foot bath. Cinnamon effectively combats both yeast and fungal infections. Next, put some freshly crushed garlic on the affected area and leave it on for half an hour. Wash with water. Do this once a day for a week. Alternatively, you can use diluted garlic juice, garlic powder, or a clove of raw garlic. Garlic is an excellent antibiotic that can kill the fungus causing athlete's foot. Next, add one ounce of chopped fresh ginger to one cup of boiled water and simmer for 20 minutes. Let it cool and apply twice a day to your feet. Next, rub raw honey on the affected areas before bedtime. Cover the feet with an old sock and leave it on overnight. 
Next, soak your feet in herbal tea foot bath of golden seal and thyme once a day. Next, mix approximately 80 to 90 drops of grapefruit seed extract to two ounces of water and apply this to the affected area with a cotton ball two or three times a day. Next, mix two teaspoons of salt to a pint of warm water and soak your feet in it for 10 to 15 minutes. Then dry thoroughly. The salt kills the fungus and reduces perspiration. I would also like to mention that if you want to discover the forgotten power of plants, you should take a second and check out the first link in the description. Thanks for watching.